Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. Dynamic change in the history of Aternum last night as the marauders of HBM secure the eastern trade routes of Weaver's Finn and the zealots of Hold W expand their holy empire by taking the fort down by the river in Morningdale. KOTT news crews getting swept up in the excitement got out into the outpost rush only to find even more people getting their own taste of combat. With two mighty zergs pushing back and forth along the roads, the action came down to some timely gates and the final Baroness lockout. Daywalkers of the island should get in all their refining and crafting needs while the sun shines on throughout the day. Because after the sun sets and the temperatures drop, the armies of Isabella will march down from the shattered mountains across 40% of the island. Another submission for tonight's simulated fantasy combat resolution brought to you by LARPCO. Remember, if it isn't LARPCO, it's cardboard. With special thanks to the craft services crew. Tonight, the zealots of Hold W attack the syndicate members of Evicted for Crown and Kingdom of the Western Monarch's Bluff. Hold W making a quick detour along their standard pilgrimage and make their move to convert even more land to followers of those who press forward. Now that evicted have actually been removed from their home, they know how it feels and don't necessarily want to feel that way again. So be sure to tune in for complete coverage and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then. This has been War Correspondent John Chalant, KOTT News.